Well, good morning, friends and family, and welcome to At the Cross Community Church and also Jim's in Town Gardening and Bella's Legacy Rabbitry. Ah, not as cold as it has been. We're at 10 degrees this morning. It's better than minus. So today's words of wisdom for February 7th. Here we are Monday, 2022. And there's quite a few scriptures that I want to look at. Let me see. There we go. Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her. For she is thy life. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 21. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Revelation 3, 1. We're going to look more into Revelation here in a little bit. But behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Wow. You know, as we go about our lives, there are a lot of issues that can drain us of our spiritual strength. Somebody might be going through family matters, whatever troublesome personal matters that you might be going through. You know, we can look at our nation. We can look at the world, and there's a lot going on there. Moral decline, fears. I mean, we could go with a whole list. And, you know, I see this in many lives that are following j &L Ministries here on YouTube platform, and even people that I meet in other places. People can grow weary, and some of those attacks can shake our faith. But you see, friends, we need to press on to the things that the Lord calls us to do. Hold fast unto his truths. It's the only way that you're going to become victorious. Amen. So today, let's think about the spiritual concept of holding on. You know, we often hear this expressed in the phrase, I'm hanging in there. Right? In some instances, it can be a very stale saying. But you know, at other times when I'm talking to one who's going through a, a difficult trial, it blesses me to hear them repeat these these words and determined that they're going to stay faithful. You know, and especially in the midst of whatever that attack is. So let's think about, uh, hold on to instruction. You know, I, I think this is best... Uh, how do I want to say this? When we search the, the Bible for storms that we might be going through, you know, when we look at how some of the ones in the Bible went through things. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 10. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, Faith, long-suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch. At, there's one of those words, Icono, Icky, uh, okay, you can read it, Listeria, the persecutions I endured, but out of them all, the Lord delivered me. Yea, and all that will live godly in, in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. You know, we looked at this quite a bit uh, in the message I delivered yesterday. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 7. Remember them which have rule over you, who has spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow, considering the end of their conversation. Listen to what Apostle Paul says in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse Verse uh, 14. 
but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Hold on to the good. You know, we respond to this command today with a, a loud amen, or we should be. You know, even though evil seems to just be increasing, you know, it runs rapid and it rampant in the in the world. We find out what is good by learning the scriptures. This is why I say be in the word daily. A chapter or two, three chapters every day. The Lord spoke through Jeremiah, chapter 6, verse 16. This is what the Lord says. Stand at the crossroads and look. Ask for the ancient paths. Ask where the good way is and walk in it. And you will find rest for your souls. You know, Romans chapter 12, verse 9. It says it in just a few words. Hate what is evil and cling what is good. Hold on to what you have. You know, this is a call to hold on to our faith in God. Let's look at Revelation. Let's see what Jesus said in Revelation chapter 3, verse 10 through 13. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon the, all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of, of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down from heaven for my God, and I will write upon him my new name. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. You see, we need to hold on, church. We need to remain steadfast. You know, if you're going to grow in your faith, this is what needs to, needs to happen. See, God is still in control. And God is intentional as he's planning the future date when all this conflict, all the evilness of the world will be defeated. When righteousness will prevail. And when the everlasting crown will be awarded to those who patiently hold on to their faithfulness in God. You need to hold on, friends. Remain strong in him. The things that we learn that we need to do, those are the things that we need to do. Hate those things that are evil. Stay away from them. Turn your back on them. You know, I say that, and I'm reminded of when a lot and his family were taken out of the city before it was doomed. But Lot's wife looked back. Don't look back. Don't look back on those things. God has a lot better way for all of us. But we've got to choose to, to follow him. Heavenly Father, we come to you, Lord. And Father, we help us, ask you to help us to contend with those obstacles that are part of our strict training so that we will receive an everlasting crown. Father, help us to patiently endure and prayfully endear the important truths that you teach us in our spiritual training. Father, we want to hold on to your unchanging hand as we build our lives not on the shifting sands of time, but on that which will never perish. Lord, help us to build our faith in Jesus. 
Jesus, who is the rock of our salvation. Father, help us to say no to following evil and yea to those things that come from you, the good things. Help us with our faith. We ask these things in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you know, it, it seems like these verses keep coming and coming and coming. <coughs> Somebody needs to hear these. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's all of us. You know, you don't have to look very far to see this world is more evil every single day. Yes, I know we have the internet, and I know that cameras are on everywhere in the world. You know, things are reported so much quicker than they were 20, 30, 40 years ago. But it is evil. What are we gonna what are we gonna cling to? Are we gonna cling to the worldly things? Or are we gonna cling to that which is truth, that which is from God? Important question, friend. We love you. Hope this spoke to you. Those things that need to change, I do hope that you change them. Don't forget tonight. Um, uh, I've got to get the schedule right here. On At the Cross Community Church. Da -da 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 -da, Monday. Uh, Brother Mike is going to be bringing a, a Bible teaching. Now, Brother Mike is a, fr a friend of Jay's. He's down in Florida. Brother Mike lived quite a colorful past. We see that God, God took all, a lot of that away from him. So now he, now he's a pastor. Isn't it amazing what God can do when you surrender that stuff? So I'm anxiously waiting to, to hear him teach tonight. Um, Hope you'll join us. And that is going to be a seven, 7 o'clock tonight, Eastern Standard Time. Friends, we love you. God bless you.